Hey, welcome to Capsize, you guys. We're here today with a very, uh, very cool episode. My buddies in Tarantula Mountain have joined us for an unplugged acoustic session, call it what you will, and to celebrate the release of a brand new Penny Rock Productions video of theirs, Kintsugi. Mm -hmm. And uh, they have uh, been kind enough to come in here and do some adaptations of the music that you may be familiar with if you've seen the band. If not, uh, a good place to check them out is uh, tarantulamountain.com. I believe that goes to your link tree. Mm -hmm. Yes. Awesome.
So um, maybe introduce yourself to the folks and uh, how long has Tarantula Mountain been a thing? So my name is Jasmine. This is JB. JB Mendes. Yeah. Um, Tarantula Mountain, I guess, started as a side project to Tombstone Union back in uh, 2015, 2016-ish. And in 2020, we reformed in the version you see today. How did that happen? Well, in uh, March 2020, we were in the process of, I guess, trying to figure out what the next direction of the band was. And our good friend Dave Pruitt invited us to come out to his home studio to film a few songs. And at that point in time, we decided to keep the band going. And um, I would take over vocals as well as bass. We got a drummer named Mark. Coronado from The Crown to join us and went to Dave's studio and jammed. That's awesome. Yeah. And knowing uh, they were coming, I wasn't who you know sure like who was going to drum. And then Mark shows up in my house. I'm like, Mark, what's <laughs> up? He's an old friend. I used to know him when he was in another band and uh, seen him do his thing with The Crown as a front guy and, you know, uh, laying it down for yeah. sure. Yeah. It's exciting. And... Uh, you guys have been playing the circuit a lot around town. You've, uh, I see you at Come and Take It out south. You go to Hanover's out north. What are some other places you guys have played around town? Uh, we've played at Kick Butt Coffee a lot. Mm -hmm. And um, we've done a bunch of live stream shows. And that was out of our school studio at the Austin School of Music. And we've played a, a, just kind of a lot of places around. Yeah.
And as far as you changing uh, your role in the band to being more up front, how does that affect you? Have you looked at music a different way, or how does that feel for you? So I'm very shy, and it took a lot of uh, a lot of practice to um, be comfortable with speaking in front of a mic. So now I'm more conscious of the singers when I'm watching live bands perform, and um, just taking notes from musicians that I admire. We're lucky to be in a town that uh, you have a lot of great examples of performers and things, and you guys are always playing with some amazing bands, so I guess that gives you a chance to see some good examples. For oh, sure. yeah, for sure. Well, I think you guys do great. And uh, you, you mm-hmm. also uh, have a lot of kettles in the fire, so to speak, whether yeah. it's art or music of your own. Tell us a little bit about yourself and what's going on there. Um, yeah, artist and a musician. Um, my artwork is... Uh, two main uh, styles that I have is post-dreamism, which are bigger pieces of dreams and ideas that I have, and then um, lines collide, and that's more pen and marker work. That stuff I can get lost in. <laughs> I love, I love the, the details. Oh, man. Yeah, it's, it's so much just, fun. Mm. Um, and then musically, uh, Tarantula Mountain, and I have a, a side project uh, called Dead But Cannot Die. And so... Um, yeah, it's definitely keeping me busy. Yeah. Um, both forms of art, uh, it, they're, they're therapy to me. Yeah. So definitely um, something I do every day. I'll work on, on a drawing for an hour, I'll take a break and then work on a song. And I just kind of throughout the day go back and forth with that. Well, I'm glad you can find your outlet there because I sure oh. enjoy the, the output of both. So <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh, 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 
These songs that you've been playing around now since regrouping the band, um, I know myself, I've heard them kind of, I don't know, grow is the right word, but definitely uh, hearing them, I think that your sound is very unique, hmm. and uh, you've definitely worked yourself into something that you don't hear. You know, there's not a lot of bands doing what you do. So now that you're going into, I guess it'd be fair to say, is it production for another record? Yes. You're writing at least, and mm -hmm. I know you perform a song today. So. Uh, what is your influences on the new music for Tarantula Mountain? How is that coming about? Mm. Oh. Uh, well, I think we're six songs in so far. Um, and the first few songs have been a little heavier, I've noticed, a little darker sounding. Um, but we just got done actually rehearsing yesterday and we wrote a, a new song, a little more upbeat. And Fast. A little faster, so um, really excited about the, the new material. I know uh, with the music you have, it's it's kind of it, personal might be a good way to say it. Mm -hmm. um, it's um, therapeutic for the listener. I don't know if that's your intention, but uh, it helps you think about a lot of things. And I guess we can all take our spin on the meanings of the songs and whatnot. Uh, we've gone through a lot politically, a lot uh, economically, personally. We've all, since the pandemic and you guys getting back together, have experienced a lot of things. Do you feel that that's affecting the direction of your new music? I would, I would think so, especially in the, the lyrical content that mm -hmm. we're putting on this next record. That's great. 
It's, it's tough to deal with, but I think when everybody gets out and kind of talks about how they feel about these things, it creates hopefully um, a little more bonding instead of some separatism that we've all been through. We also try to incorporate a lot of a lot of that content into the production of our music videos. So mm-hmm. like the video that you were in, mm-hmm. Orthodox Red, um, was just a fun comment on uh, the media's addition to the last few years. Spin! <laughs> <laughs> I was stoked to be in that. That was one amazing was experience. Thank you so much for being a part of it. Oh, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> All right, this will be our last song. This is a new one for us. It'll be on our second album. This is Trade With You. Your videos, uh, I think, pretty much exclusively produced from Penny Rock Productions. You know someone. I might, I might know a couple people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they do amazing work, of course. Uh, I've been lucky enough to be involved in the Bloody and Bruised epic documentary that's in the works. But uh, your latest video, which will be debuting here, we'll see it today on the show. 
tell me about the concept behind Kintsugi, the new video. So when we know which song we're going to be uh, shooting the video on, we like to brainstorm. And we will do it for, you know, back and forth, three months, four months before that, throwing out ideas. And one of the first ideas uh, was the, the sun and the moon. Um, and and that relationship and then so we tied it to us so we decided she was the moon I was the sun and then from there everything else started to branch out um, on top of the meaning of Kintsugi which I don't Absolutely. know if, yes. I don't know if you know it's, it's really powerful uh, yeah it's a powerful I, I love the, that concept um, but yeah the brainstorming honestly we ended up having too many ideas that we had to kind of like pull back on yeah so um, yeah it's yeah, so much fun to, to do. It's always uh, soothing to know, even in your most broken moments, that the repaired version of you is stronger. Even more valuable. Yes. Even, yeah, yeah, str- oh, that's love that concept. What you learn is gold. Yes. yes. <laughs> that's beautiful. I appreciate you guys coming to play Capsize today, and I'm looking forward to seeing the video and uh, what the future holds for Tarantula Mountain. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Y'all are watching Capsize, and uh, why don't we go ahead and check out the debut of Kintsugi by Penny Rock Productions, Tarantula Mountain. Y'all enjoy.
Hey, what's up? This is Capsize. We're falling at you this week on TV. Cable access coming your way, man. The best of it. Uh, I've got some wonderful Austin filmmakers in the room with us today. And Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Boudreau and John from Penny Rock Productions are here. Gentlemen, welcome. Oh, hey, class. thank you for having us. Oh, I've been looking for a reason for a minute, man, so I'm glad you made it. And uh, they've come down the week we've had Tarantula Mountain in, as they've just uh, wrapped some production on the latest Tarantula Mountain video for Kintsugi. With I saw the a few of the behind-the-scenes captures and stuff that you let out on, on Facebook, and it looks like a... Uh, a whole nother level man tell me what's going on with this video yeah uh you know the band i love working with the band because they they're they're creative people like us and so they come up come up with ideas and we kind of you know it's my job as the director to kind of translate those ideas and how they work on on video or on film and then so it, it's it's a great collaborative effort of just can we make this work? What can we do to make this look really cool? And then so we started, you know, I started researching some camera techniques and camera tricks and uh, we, we did some lighting, they did some prop work and they brought in some talent that danced. I mean, it's a, it's a whole, our level of production with these music videos with Tarantula Mountain has gone way up exponentially each one that we do. How's it like seeing a family member do this rock and roll thing? It's pretty cool. It's it's really neat. When it first started, we first shot the first video, just had that connection. Um, she's, I've known her since she was a little baby, so it's funny holding her one day and then the next day you're shooting music videos and working together and kind of stuff. It's pretty cool. Nice shirt. Thank you. Thank you. Figured I'd support. I love yeah. it. I love it. And uh, you've done a, a video with these gentlemen. The best part of it all is um, during the pandemic, uh, we had been talking about it, and um, we just I lost, I just lost it. I didn't know that we were going to be able to do this. So as soon as it opened up a little bit, um, I started getting stills from John. And the thing was, was oh, there's a angel and a devil, and oh, there's feathers. There's what? What is this? You know, and they go, yeah, man, we're in production. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> and it's like, oh, okay, fantastic. So it was a song that that, that I had. had. Uh, they came up with a whole devil, what did, what did you call it, John? The dichotomy. The dichotomy. Yeah, and, and, and uh, Boudreaux's vision. He had um, great cats up there working the camera, Brian working the camera, and, and, and you were there making sure I was locked out. <laughs> and they came up with the concept they shot the video, they locked me out when I needed to be locked out, and they put it all together. And um, it kind of reminds me of, if you had to put this video in a style, it would be like the first kind of Nirvana uh, teen spirit where everybody's jumping down, kind of slow motion. There was a lot of that stuff. But it just looked really amazing. And I can't wait to uh, start production on the other one as soon as uh, I can get the guys uh, to uh, head into the studio with me.
But it's exciting, man. They're second to none. And, and the best part, the way that we met was um, bloody and bruised. If you don't know who these uh, gentlemen are, they're the cats that are putting together uh, bloody and bruised, the story of the back room. And um, just the level of dedication and going out there and still working uh, on other projects while they are interviewing bands, man. It's, it's <laughs> great to know you guys. And I, I thought Dave worked hard, you know. And now Dave, it was kind of funny because when Dave showed up today, he goes, it's kind of weird that I'm the last one here today, isn't it? Like this is, Every day. This is backwards now, you know. <laughs> I'd always be here an hour before, and now every right, week, James is first, yeah, Nathan that's... is second, and I'm third, <laughs> rolling up late. What so is that about? It's kind of weird, but, you know, now y'all have taken that torch. I know that y'all have done videos for a lot of um, uh, bands that you enjoy that are part of this scene. And, and so it's like you're supporting the bands that you dig and in turn they get to have something to show all you fine people and play it's uh it's great great to know you guys and i couldn't be more proud um to be a part of anything that y'all do and dave he he had a lot of that footage that yeah. uh, that y'all had and it's, it's just amazing how the collaboration between the three of y'all really really worked out it's amazing i'm honored to be able to contribute that i think it's like the perfect home for it yeah, so thank you for was, providing that was, and that's exactly it because then like where is all of that going to go there's all of that back um catalog for lack of a better um word that yeah. it's just sitting there but it's gold you had hundreds of things right like oh yeah i mean it, it I, I will say that your archive is by far it was a valuable valuable asset and and so what a lot of people don't know is that dave and i would talk all the time just hey do you need that or do you have this do you have you know I, just asking him questions and so he was a, an immense help and and but as far as the film goes i mean literally thousands of elements of posters flyers pictures video clips i mean you i think you provided over 200 video clips alone you know mm -hmm. not counting the a vast amount of archive that we've had from other people that were there you know and so and lucky enough to help you point in the right direction of getting other things that exactly you needed. exactly from the so. two cats you know that you got with that did the early days yeah. of the back room and yeah. then fortunately one passed away right after you yeah. got that footage yeah yeah it's 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 a crazy like it's been a crazy three and a half years and by the time this premieres in march it'll be a complete four years of our lives that mm -hmm. we've dedicated to from from pre-production all the way to final premiere it'll Don't, be four years okay okay but you kind of finished it now other than like oh, yeah. oh let me just put this part here just because you want no to. no it's it's like the film's done like the entire film is done in fact i finished last night i was putting some final touches on it beautiful uh it's the the film it's not picture locked yet but it, there's a working cut and so uh and it's just funny because you know i think you were interview number two or three mm -hmm. right yeah and you were interview number five or six so, so uh, 69 i think it was my <laughs> uh, 420 yeah because you guys are in, you're in the trailer that's how we yeah, started we so started cool. shooting for a trailer and then we just never stopped because we realized awesome. you know everything's working in our favor right now let's just keep shooting 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 well, as you told everybody uh it was during the pandemic so yeah. a lot of the clubs were closed and a mm -hmm. lot of the people had a lot of time to be able to do that it's covered a grand portion of all of both of everyone's lives mm -hmm. that's been in production for this Harlot. Harlot has been bringing in quite a few people. Um, they've been playing on Friday and Saturday nights. And Outlaw Circus has been bringing in some people. Um, Carnival of Sin. And then we still have our bigger names happening like Hush Scarlet and Pariah and Near Dark. So um, really, I have, to, I have to say that we have a lot of good talent happening out there right now.
Your mama. In the middle of all this, you went legit. You quit your I, job. I did. I did. I, How's I, that feel? A couple months ago now, yeah, I actually decided to take my Penny Rock full time, and uh, it's been great. You know, I've met met a lot of great supportive people along the way, a lot of great bands. Uh, you know, it, it's just been a great, great thing. It's awesome to like wake up, take my kids to school, and then go upstairs in my house and edit in my studio and listen to some records while I, uh, you know, work. Uh, hopefully, then soon it'll turn into. You ready? Nickel Rock Productions oh. instead of Penny Rock, and it's just. I'll <laughs> show myself <laughs> out. Thank you very much. Best <laughs> joke. He's here all week. <laughs> <laughs> Something was coming. I was like, okay, this, this next just, thing is not going to be serious. Smoke coming out of my ears. Yeah. So what is it? Uh, you don't do twenty-five years of television production, and what is it? Fourteen tellies. tellies yeah, four, or? I've gotten fourteen tellies, one Emmy, uh, a couple of uh, other one industry Emmy, awards. Just but, you. I, yeah. Uh, and a John G. And a John G. He, he, he comes with the with the <laughs> with the film production company. <laughs> a little bubblehead. Yeah. Yeah. And then so, uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it's you know the awards are nice and it's good recognition. Uh, it, it's it's a good sales tool. Yeah. But but really, it's the work. It's uh, it's the music videos. It's the final film. It's the the final product that people see in the theater on television or on, on online. That's where you know, for me, at least for me, it's oh, you're the guy that directed that. You're the guy that shot that. That be, holy shit! I want to work with you guys. Absolutely, you know, and that's that's where I really get kind of, you know, happy when I go see bands and I go to shows and they're like they recognize us now yeah. as part of like you know you guys are Penny Rock. You, you're we want to work with you. And, and, then, and, then, and that happens. That's been happening a lot lately. So you I'm really it. that's a great thing. Yeah, I'm really proud of of what I've built and and you know the collaboration we've done. You know, we've built a huge team now yeah. of of production people that you know we we work with all the time now that you know everything from short films to horror films to music videos to whatever so yeah if any bands need a music video he's the guy and everyone was handpicked so we'd have people all over austin so depending on where an interview was calling for us to be yeah. or you know whatever we needed to do we knew what crew we were going to use for that and we're like oh we're in south austin let's call these dudes and then we build a crew real quick, send a call sheet, and we already have So, so we amazing. really don't ever have to worry, because no matter where in town we're going to have a shoot, we know somebody's going to be available in that little mm -hmm. in our little network. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. So. Austin is a great place to network. You uh, picked a couple of gems in my book to help you with the movie. Tammy Salem Moore and mm -hmm. Ray Sigurn. Uh, just excited to see them involved with yeah. it. Icons of rock. Yes, mm -hmm. most definitely. You have a healthy adoration of horror. Like it a little bit. Yes, sir. That's my background, so yeah.
What's the best way for someone interested in working with you guys to reach out to Penny Rock Productions? I mean, PennyRockProductions.com mm -hmm. is by far easiest. PennyRockProductions.com. Um, our Facebook page has our phone number on there, her email address. Yeah, so you can perfect. reach us through there. Awesome. On yeah. the profile. Or just Google us. Google mm -hmm. Bloody and Bruised, too. So. Yeah. Are you looking into maybe a food review? <laughs> 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 I believe uh, AJ Vallejo was doing a cooking thing online. Yeah. It might have yeah. been during the pandemic. I, I forgot. So too, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it involved drinking a lot. Mm -hmm. And then Joey was doing something too. Joey from Unloco was yeah. doing a little thing like on Zoom. And then he would walk you through a little dish. And he and I talk all the time about funny little cool little projects to do with cooking, mixing cooking with music. But... We're super busy. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. What would we cook for you if you came over for dinner, Pedro? What would we do? Oh, have? man. I, I'm, a, I'm a big sushi guy, so I don't know. Can you make sushi? I can't make sushi, but I'm a big sushi... Lover? Lover as well. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's one of the reasons I love the Kintsugi videos, because it's Japanese-based, and I love Japanese culture and Japanese food oh, great. and Japanese film. You know, I'm a... You know, when I'm at home and I'm not working, I'm watching Japanese movies nice. and samurai films and, and music videos from the 90s. So... <sighs> That's kind of my, my bag. The, the cat who uh, mixes and masters all of my records, uh, Tim Guerin, um, yeah. mm -hmm. just went and he's sending pictures back. And, and it's very strange because the, the culture, at least what it looked like, and it was very amazing that it's very clean. There was nothing dirty in the streets. It was, you know, everybody was polite. And he says, man, it's like going to... Um, uh, almost like a cartoon because everybody was so nice yeah. to each other. Yeah. Hoping to go next year. So. Oh, that yeah. sounds good. Amazing. Yeah. Favorite dish? Dinner time. What's Ooh. up for John Jew? Favorite dish? It would have to be steak. Something oh, with steak. Would. Anything with steak. We're good. Awesome, guys. Thank you. Uh, it's Penny Rock Productions in the house tonight, and uh, we thank you for tuning in. Capsize is seen weekly on Cable Access Channel 10, Grande and Spectrum. If you have an iPhone or Android, you can see it. Just get the app. It's Austin Public, and this place, Austin Public Access, is uh, brought to you by AustinFilm.org, a great bunch of folks. And uh, I think we always like to say support Sims, support Ham. It's out there for you as Austin musicians take advantage of your resources. There is love. Make art, people. Make art. Do That's me a favor and hug somebody. Do it for me. Yeah. Let's support each other for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Amen.